Okay, what is up there, YouTube? I have another forgotten Iranian fighter aircraft project from the early 2000s. And this one here is a very strange aircraft, because unlike most of the proposed Iranian stealth aircraft and stealth fighter aircraft projects, this one actually materialized twice between 2003 and 2013. And that aircraft is Hisa Shafak from 2003 on paper until 2017, although the actual prototype was not completed until 2008. The Hisa Shafak was an experimental subsonic stealth attack and a light trainer aircraft, and in some sources state that this was a sonic stealth fighter aircraft that was developed between 2003 and in 2017. Now the project was developed on paper between 2003 and 2007, and the first mock-up of the aircraft was built in 2008, and a second prototype was unveiled sometime between 2010 and 2013. The Hisa Shafak was one of Iran's first attempts at developing a stealth aircraft. Before this, the Iranians had mostly experimented with making copies of the American F-5 Tiger modified or rebuilt into a fighter configuration. And these are mostly the Hisa Zarakash and Hisa Shakui, or Lightning and Thunderbolt. And these were two Iranian fighter projects of 1997 and 2004. But they were really just the redesigns or modifications of the old F-5 Tiger trainer aircraft. Now, Iran had been trying to develop their own light attack and light trainer aircraft. They developed a number of limited production light trainer aircraft. These are jet trainer aircraft that are also based on the F-5. And these are the Iranian-made Dorna, Tazarb, and the Iranian Sigmorg. And these are all based on the F-5, at least either their internal workings or their exterior in the case of the Sigmorg. But the Hisa Shafak was the first time that the Iranians made a fighter, or in this case a stealth aircraft, that was not based on the F-5. This project was an extension of another Iranian jet fighter program known as the MATF, or the Morg Ashura Tactical Fighter Program. And that was an experimental or proposed fourth generation multi-role stealth fighter project from 2004 2006. Now that project was a joint project with Russia and was based on a Russian experimental fighter aircraft known as the Megoyan Project LFI or the Light Frontline Fighter Aircraft from the 1980s and early 1990s. Well the Hisa Shafak was kind of the final evolution of the MATF and the Russian Megoyan Project LFI, but this time as a subsonic stealth aircraft and light trainer aircraft. But the Iranians also called this a stealth fighter project also. Now the main armament of this aircraft was supposed to be seven missiles. The main armament was supposed to be seven Satar, seven Satar and Shabazz air-to-air -air missiles, and it could also be fitted with the Fatar air-to-ground missiles, and these are Iranian air-to-ground missiles. These are all Iranian-made missiles that are based on mostly American and Russian air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. The main engine was a Kilmov RD-33, which was a Russian experimental jet engine that was developed for several experimental Russian Mikoyan MiG jets in the late 80s to early 1990s. The maximum speed of this aircraft was 1,150 kilometers per hour or 714.5 miles per hour. The aircraft had a maximum range of 2,000 kilometers or 1,200 miles and only two Prototypes were built, one mock-up prototype, or just a mock-up made of wood, and one prototype that was built later on. Now the aircraft was developed by the Malik Ashtar University, which is an Iranian military research institution. And it was actually developed by a woman by the name of Safihi Bagrin. And Bagrin was an Iranian student who was tasked with developing this light subsonic stealth attack aircraft way back in 2003. 
It took several years before the first wood mock-up was unveiled in 2008, and it was actually shown on TV as a real plane, although it would later come out that this was just a mock-up. In 2010 and 2013, a real mock-up made of metal was unveiled by the Iranian military at one of Iran's air shows on the island of Kish, or the Kish Military Expo as it was known as back then. And this version was slightly larger than the version seen in 2008. Now what happened to the second prototype is unknown, but it was unveiled alongside several other Iranian limited production light attack aircraft. The aforementioned Dorna, Tazarv, and Sigmorg trainer aircraft. So it appears that the Iranians did at least build one prototype of this plane later on in the early 2010s, but the project seems to have been cancelled. The last update on the Hisa Shafak was in 2017 where the Malik University, the Malik Ashtar University claimed to be still working on this prototype aircraft. The Hisa Shafak would also go on to influence the Kahar 313 Iranian stealth fighter project from 2013. Like I mentioned in another video, that that plane is very strange as many believe that it's not a real plane and that it's just a mock-up or a reproduction of the American F-5 Tiger but as a stealth fighter instead of just a trainer like the other aforementioned Iranian planes that were made based on the old F-5. What happened to the Hisa Shafak is largely unknown. The plane has simply disappeared and hasn't been mentioned since 2017. Most likely the project is cancelled, but no one knows for sure. But the Hisa Shafak is at least one of the Iranian experimental planes that looked very promising at the time, but ultimately it seems that the Iranians have simply given up on this plane. Now in 2018, Iran unveiled yet another F-5 knockoff known as the Kausar. The Kausar is just another F-5, but this time modeled after the F-20 Tiger Shark, which was the successor of the F-5 in the U.S. Uh, market as a trainer. So I don't know what the Iranians are thinking. The Hisa Shafak was clearly the right way to go. If the Iranians were going to develop a stealth aircraft, it would have been better to start off with a subsonic stealth light attack and trainer aircraft or light fighter aircraft like the Hisa Shafak instead of making more cheap F-5 ripoffs like they've been doing for the last 20 years now. So what do you all think? So what do you all think of the Hisa Shafak? To me, I feel like the Iranians would have had a decent light stealth aircraft by now if they had stuck with this project. But for some weird reason, they just never did. And they later went on to develop another project, the Kahar 313. And that one still hasn't come out either. So from my perspective, this plane will never come out, just like the Kahar 313. I feel like the sanctions that are placed on Iran pretty much made it almost impossible to finish any fighter jet project outside of F-5 knockoffs. And this plane here, the Hisa Shafak, is just another victim of these sanctions, but also Iran's limited knowledge on stealth aircraft. So what do you all think of the Hisa Shafak? Please tell me in the comments section below. And until next time, this was a J-Man Time, signing off.